Hi, this is Akovia, and I'm back today to talk about levels. Um, this seems to be a guru type adjustment for newcomers to photo editing. Um, this is one of the most powerful tools that you can use, and I'm not going to get into the theory and and such today. There's a lot of good information out there if you want to dig deeper into what you can do with it and uh, why it does what it does. But today we're just going to stick with practical examples of how you can use this to improve your artwork. And I grabbed a couple examples here to show you what I mean. First let me show you where to find the tool. I use it so much that I have a shortcut just L to bring up levels but you will find it under the colors menu and levels right there it's you can even add it into your toolbox if you like and you don't use shortcuts alright so what does levels do like I said I'm not going to go into big theory but let's take a look at the uh, the screen here alright what you have here this is called a histogram and this will show you the value of the pixels across the entire range of completely black as you can see this black knob here to completely white so if this was mostly a white image you would see this histogram um, be more towards this side than this side for example if we click on here and hit L you can see where it's almost all white um, so that will give you a range of there's a little bit of black in this picture actually let me uh, oops there we go you can see the little bit of black here and that's where you're getting this spike right here um, so now you have an idea there's a lot of white and very little black and that shows you your histogram and let's get something a little bit more medium and see what that looks like there you go so now that you know what these are and what the histogram is the way that you use this tool is when you adjust the black level up here what you're telling it is you want this the lowest pixel the darkest pixel on the screen to be black if we match that to right here and in this image let's uh, give it a black padding and so we can really see what it looks like against black alright so if we wanted this to be black there's a couple of ways that you could do that and it'll darken the entire image the easiest way and the way I do is manual you can just drag that until it's black. Now we did expose a problem with this image by doing that but that's an easy fix and that's something for another tutorial but you wouldn't even catch that before. But Now you can see there's you can't tell where the edges are and the picture looks a lot deeper and doesn't look so washed out. Actually we could probably do it about right there now I'm going to reset that and I'm going to show you another way these are the auto tools so if you wanted this to be black you're going to be picking your black point just like the pop-up says and it'll adjust it for you automatically and if you say that this is white we'll grab the white tool and drop it there that was already pretty white so I don't think it made an adjustment at all and this is your gray point and I'm not going to get into that right now that's more for photos but just for instance we'd want to find the midpoint between black and white and that'd probably be somewhere in here I guess and there you go what that actually does is it just adjust the gamma um, that pretty much ruined our picture so let's reset that so in any case for a practical example you could look at this picture and go it needs to be darker it's almost obvious 
grab your black level, adjust it up until you're happy with it, give it some more deep tones and now the image doesn't look so washed out you could let that one go as it as it is um, we'll talk about curves another day that gets into something completely more flexible than than the levels dialog where you can add points and really adjust your your curves you can even adjust by colors individual change in red and so on and so forth but we're, like I said, we're not going to get into that today. So let's fin finalize the... I uh, say I like it right there. Mm. Alright. So let's have a look at another one. Oh, and let me mention this as well, and I will put a link in the description for this as well. If you are not noticing the... Uh, difference in blacks on this image um, and you're having trouble following me on this tutorial it probably means your monitor levels are off and they should be adjusted and we've got some really good site links that you can click on in our forums that will take you to um, different sites to adjust your monitor levels so your blacks are blacks and your whites are whites it's really hard to work on artwork when you can't see what's going on and if uh, your monitor levels aren't adjusted properly you'll end up with something like this now hopefully your monitor levels are adjusted and you can see what someone did here they were covering up text their monitor was already so dark they couldn't see the contrast between these two colors and you can see they even dropped a block of black up there um, the good news is this is a terribly easy fix with the level tool oh, of course we want to click the correct layer and just by darkening it up just a little bit all that disappears done this is what it looked like to the person that made this on their monitor but since their levels were not adjusted properly they couldn't tell so look at the difference you can even see that the orange looks a little washed out so by just sliding one slider just a little bit that looks terribly better all right, We've got another example here. Again, uh, I don't know if levels will take this out or not. We'll have to have a look, but it doesn't even look like the whites are perfectly white either. So we'll give it a shot and see what we come up with. Levels. Let's start mm, doing it again. Got to get the right layer. Here we go. No, mm, you could go that far. Eh, actually, it's looking pretty good. Let's reset it. You can tell that there's a big difference here. This is where they were erasing the old background. And to make that blend properly without cloning this down to here, we'll just adjust the level until it disappears and there we go and let's see if we can bring the white a little whiter probably not much let's have a look at that maybe a tad more here wonderful that would actually be a pass well pretty close to a passable image I see a dot right up here like I said I wasn't sure we can get rid of that we could actually just uh, oh I hate that there we go just paint that out if I wasn't on color erase there we go anyway I'd also like to soften this up but I'm not image adjusting today I just want to show you levels last black example here's another one 
that is really kind of difficult to see from back out. But if you go in on this, you can see where, again, they couldn't tell that it looks cut off here. And that's uh, a side effect of not having your monitor levels adjusted properly. I don't know if we can do anything that would be acceptable with this or not, but let's take a look and see what we can come up with. Mm, probably not without losing a whole bunch of the glow. But that actually does get rid of most of those hard lines, as you can see, where he went, he, she, whoever went over the glow with the collection logo. So let's try that one more time. So if you like that, that could actually work, but I'd much rather have the glow and start from scratch and, and cut this out properly. But you can still see the power of what the level tool will do, which was the whole exercise here. And it doesn't always only just work on blacks. Here's a nice white image. Let's change our padding color so you can see it against true white. And you can see where they whited out some text here. It's just that blocks right there. And a little bit here, so on and so forth. Now to stay original, I'm sure that this did have more of a paper look to it, but it's close enough that we could just try and raise the white levels on it a bit, and it should bring everything in and smooth without these chunks missing out here. So let's take a look at our level tool, and this time we're going to slide the white and do it every time. All right, let's see. And boom, they're gone. There we go. Can just faintly see it, but only at super high zoom levels. And now you can't tell where the edge of the paper is either. Everything looks a little bit better. I'm going to actually bring the dark levels up too. That'll make everything a little bit deeper. Not too dark, but right up probably around there. That's our spike in our where we want black to be anyway. All right. And you could go with a little touch up here. Get rid of that. And that poster will be ready to go. Rock and roll. All right. Well, hopefully that took some of the stigma out of the level tool. Um, the level tool will pretty much be the same in most photo applications. It's gonna you're gonna have a histogram and you're gonna have level sliders. It may not look identical, but all the concepts will be the same. So you should be able to pick up Photoshop or Paint or, well, I don't think Paint has it, but Corel, so on and so forth. Any real photo ed editor is going to have a level adjustment tool in it. And hopefully with this you can see how easy it is um, to fix your images. And don't be afraid to play around a little bit. You can also start using the middle slider and get some different effects by changing the gamma. But I only use that when I'm really trying to fine tune an image. But just adjusting the lows and the highs can save you a lot of time and make your pictures look a lot deeper and make them pop. Alright, well that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, as I said, I'll leave some links in the forum if you want to read up on levels a little bit more and links to help you f adjust your monitor properly. So until next time, thanks, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.